Hi, this is Mark Costco in Jackson, Mississippi. I'd like to share a cataract hydrus case. I've been trying for some time to get a good video of a hydrus procedure uh, on my Alcon scope. I have, um, it's an excellent Alcon Luxor LX3 scope, uh, but it, um, it, it has some white balance issues with reflections off of metal. Uh, but I finally got what I felt like was a pretty good video, and I, I thought I would share it. Um, uh, Hydrus is, is, I would say, my, my favorite MIGS procedure um, to date at, at this video production. Um, it's um, um, certainly in a, in a reasonably deep, um, angle, I, I think it is a really, really great procedure. Um, it, uh, I think it's like at four plus years. There's, it's the only um, MIGS device or procedure to have a statistically significant uh, reduction in um, chance of going on to a trab or a tube. Um, I should say, um, I think it was a couple of years ago, I did a consultant um, focus group user forum thing on, on Hydrus and I was, I was compensated for it. So it's a, it's a relevant financial disclosure, although I currently don't have any um, uh, financial relationship with, with Hydrus Avantis. Um, so here we'll puncture the uh, TM to get into slims uh, and we'll angle up slightly and flatten out um, against the TM and slowly advance the advancement toggle to deploy the stent into Schlem's canal. Uh, we'll pull back ever so slightly and then we'll use the tip to tap the um, hydrous in um, and, and that looks good. This is the disposable gonio prism that was popularized with Zengel stent implantation and I, I use it to check my hydrous positioning um, and I, I thought that looked good so here we'll do a horizontal chop baco. Um, I suppose it may be noteworthy that um, I do the hydrus kind of in the middle of the cataract procedure. Pe people talk about, do you do it at the beginning or at the end? And I, I like to do it in the middle. I find that is a good balance of maintaining a good view um, and um, completing some of the critical steps of the FACO before the implantation. Uh, and also I find when I do it this way, I'm much less likely to need an additional tube of uh, viscoelastic, um, but I do I do really like hydrus. I, I I would say it's my my favorite mix procedure uh, uh, when done in the appropriate patient, and um, I, I I certainly do all the the different mix procedures when the various ones uh, seem to be most indicated, but I, um, I certainly, I certainly do like the hydrus. Um, so we'll get all these quadrants out. Um, in a little while, we'll try to show the episcleral venous fluid wave. Um, and you'll look for that um, sort of towards the top of your screen, those vessels that are above the iris. Uh, you'll see them blanch uh, with with um, increasing the uh, pressure of the uh, BSS infusion. Um, here we'll get the um, cortex out. And if you watch my other videos, you know I advocate for polishing the underside of the anterior lens capsule. I don't actually do it in cases where pupil dilation is not super great. Here you kind of can't even see the edge of the rex as well, and so if we polished, you would 
you would risk sort of uh, rubbing the underside of the iris, which would not be great. Here is a Johnson & Johnson ZC Boo lens um, for this relatively young patient uh, where it will be largely glistening free for life. Look for the fluid wave up top. You'll see some of those vessels blanch as I'm off the pedal now and then step onto the pedal just then. You'll see that larger vessel, the left side of it, blanched substantially. I'll try to show it again there. Um, so we do have good patency, uh, suggesting good, good drainage. Here's some cefuroxime, and this patient did great. Thank you for watching.